Hello guys, um, thank you for coming back to the channel, or if you're new, hello, thank you for joining the channel. Anyway guys, um, today's another story time, it's kind of spicy and shit. So, I'm going to tell you guys about the time me and my boyfriend did threesome with a dude I had beef with in high school. And it, it was, <laughs> you know, it it was some dumb ass shit, it was, it was some stupid. So, okay, so basically, okay, you guys... <laughs> Y'all have been here for a while. You know that a couple of months ago I did story time on on shit that went down that last time in Granberry. Well, okay. I'm going to summarize it up for y'all. Okay, so me and my boyfriend, we go down there um, with Sherelle, of course. This, this back when I was friends with Sherelle. And so I was like, you know, I want my boyfriend to meet Carolyn. I, I was telling him, I was like, you're going to like her, blah, blah, blah. And so, you know, we go down there. We, um, her, okay. So, so Carolyn and her, uh, okay. And her other best friend, Chihuahua. That's what I'm going to call him. That's what he will my, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to call him James Charles because that's who the fuck he fuck he look like and act like so um yeah so basically what happens is um you know he um okay so you know carolyn and james come over and you know me and um me and her and james were talking you know on the we're talking outside of, at the hotel room and like James wants to squash her beef from high school which basically guys it was some dumb stupid high school shit like James was jealous of me and had a problem with me because he was jealous of me and which w w that and the fact that the dude that was really into me in high school wouldn't give him the time of day so that that kind of shit. So we ended up just like you know, scratching it and shit and whatever. So me and my boyfriend, we get on grinder because we want to have a threesome and all this shit. So we're not having no luck. So guys, um, I I get this crazy dumbass idea on the what the fuck I did that we do a threesome with James. And so you know. James has been drinking, worries. So we ended up doing it. And, but, okay, so, okay, so basically, it was good for the most part. But the next day, James is saying shit to my boyfriend that, that you know, my boyfriend was better, all the shit. And I'm kind of getting, I'm kind of, kind of not too happy about that shit. Oh, and, you know, I did, okay, my dumb ass let them go off into the shower and have sex. And I, at the time, I, I was like, I'm I was like, I'm fine with it, but then I'm dumb. Oh, hell no. So what's hilarious about this shit was that they're still going at it, and Carolyn comes back with Cheryl to knock on the door, and they're, and they're, and they're, and they're like, hey, let us back in. And, and I was just busted out laughing, and I was yelling at them, and I was like, I was like, Carolyn, they're not even done yet. <laughs> so basically, we, um, you know, you know, basically the moral of the story is, don't, just, you know, don't do a threesome with somebody that you have beef with. Yeah, yeah, even though if it's the last person on earth you'd want to do a threesome with, yeah. That's basically what what I had to say about it. I just, you know, and you know, that was the other tea I didn't give you guys when I made a video about the situation. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. But yeah, guys, that's the tea. I, you know, honestly, I just looking back at it now, I'm like, what was I fucking thinking? But yeah, um, I mean. Carolyn is still friends with James. I don't know what she sees in him, but you know what? Whatever. That's her friend. Whatever. I mean, like, like I said last time, I'm saying this. I mean, I've heard a lot of baby shady shit about his ass. I have a lot of friends that don't like his ass, and and I don't blame them because he's hella fucking fake. Like, 
you know, he, I mean, like I told you in the last video, he was talking mad shit to me and I didn't give him the reaction he wanted and he was getting mad and I'm like, you know what, you know what, fuck this, fuck this. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, honestly, it's sad, it's like, you know, I do want, I do, I do want to make, you know, a ton of gay friends, but I'm iffy because I've had motherfuckers like James in the past be like, you know, talking shit, being jealous of me over, over some stupid shit. And being fake as fuck. But yeah. Anyway, y'all. Yeah. It was a... That was a disaster. It was. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, guys. That's basically the end of the story. I was going to post this on Patreon. But no one's paying for that shit. So I'm like, fuck it. You, you guys get the shit for free. Y'all do. Yeah, I don't know. I'm debating if I'm going to go back to doing my sex show because YouTube's kind of hella strict right now. But what's crazy is my, my sex show episodes got me so many views. Like, I was like, what the actual fuck? I don't know. Maybe I will. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, guys, love you. Peace.